welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Roxanne, the Tiny Taster, and today's recipe is a fantastic garlicky chili prawns, but they are Spanish style. Now, this is actually a typical Spanish style tapas dish. I think they call it gambas agilo, aillo. I don't know how I'm pronouncing it. I'm so bad at this, so forgive me for that. But these Spanish style gambas, which are prawns, are just divine very simple to make uh, you just have to be a little careful that you don't leach out oil i'll get to that in the recipe but they're fantastic it's a starter it's one of my favorites i haven't been to spain but i've eaten it all over the world in other places and i just can't get enough so i'm very very excited for this if you like this recipe as always don't forget to leave it a big fat like leave me a comment down below subscribe to the channel and of course share it with all your friends so without any further ado let's get cooking it's a really simple recipe. You just need a couple of ingredients, starting with some nice cleaned deveined prawns. You'll also need some chopped parsley. You can substitute it with coriander, some sliced garlic. You can chop it, but I've sliced it like the original recipe says. You're gonna need a little bit of heat, so paprika or cayenne pepper, some salt and pepper and olive oil. Most recipes will use paprika powder. You could use the spicy one, the smoked, or even the sweet paprika, whatever you like. You could even use cayenne powder if you don't have that. Or you could just use these chili flakes to substitute. Anything works. Now the main ingredient and the crucial part of this recipe is of course your prawns. So you're going to need some nice cleaned deveined prawns. What you want to do is ensure that the vein on the outside, usually there's one on this top portion, you can pull that out. And then there's also a black vein on the portion below. I like to take it out, most places leave it in, it's entirely up to you. But just clean them, devein them and then with a paper towel, you want to just dab off any excess water or moisture of the prawns this is very very crucial you can't have water when you fry the prawns it'll just make a mess first things first you're going to season these cleaned prawns with salt and pepper you just mix it about generously and make sure that you get all the salt and pepper coated on almost each and every prawn um, at this stage people sometimes like to add in the paprika or cayenne pepper and season it with that little bit of spice you can if you like i like to add it in later um, so just make sure that it's all seasoned well and there's no water still at this stage in a pan i add a generous amount of olive oil and to that my sliced or chopped pieces of garlic you basically just want to make sure that the garlic spreads around in the pan nicely. You could use your tongs for this, it's easier. And you want the garlic to cook up. You don't want it to burn really, but you want it to cook nicely and just sort of infuse the oil with that wonderful garlic flavor. Once the garlic starts to cook, I like to add in just a little bit of the paprika powder or the cayenne powder, whichever one you're using. Not all of it, but just a little bit to infuse some more flavor into the oil along with the garlic. Once that's cooked for about a minute or so, I like to toss in all the prawns. And you need to cook these prawns for a total of five to six minutes, not longer, or they will overcook. Just make sure that you spread the prawns out, they're not all clumped together and let this cook at least on a high flame for about say two or three minutes before you toss it. Add in the rest of the cayenne pepper or paprika powder pepper and once it's cooked on one side for two to three minutes just flip it over so that they cook on the other side. Do not add any water to this and also cook this on a high flame. It's very important because prawns tend to leach out water and you don't want that in your gravy. You need to cook this for a total of six minutes. So in the last minute or so, once the prawns have cooked well and you can start to see the gravy thickening up, just sprinkle in your chopped parsley or coriander. That's a little bit of garnish. And once the prawns have completely cooked, switch the flame off and transfer this hot and piping hot into your serving bowl this is it this is how simple it is this is your spanish style tapas your prawn agilo or gambas al agio again i don't know how i'm pronouncing that i hope it's correct really simple so flavorful and it's got just that wonderful um garlicky slightly spicy depending on the spice that you've used um sauce at the bottom it works well with some nice crusty bread or garlic bread or any sort of 
toast um, it's perfect as a snack and you can eat it along with your meal um, but just really a fabulous dish i hope you've enjoyed this it's i know it's really simple but it is wonderful so i hope you enjoy it if you have as always don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys very very soon